Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about subnetting, CIDR and VLSM. It is a part 5 of computer networks. These topics are very important in, uh, uh, in light of every competitive exam which is related to computer science. So uh, some questions there can be there in IBPS SO IT officer also. So let's discuss uh, what is this. Before going to detail, we would first know what is classful addressing. Okay, what is classful addressing? Classful addressing is uh, that every, cl every class, suppose we have three classes 1 2 3 in each class the number of net id that is net id and host id is fixed for class a the first octet the first 8 bit is of net id and other is of host id okay other is of host id okay so for class a this is net id and all others are no host id so there is a word called subnet mask subnet mask Okay, we have a default subnet mask for all, for all these three classes. For class A, it is 255.0.0.0. Okay, this is the subnet mask. That is the number of bits in the net ID is 1. This, this all bits are 1. Okay, it is same as this. Okay, for class B, it is, for class B is the first and the second octet. That is the 16 bits. These two 16 bits are or uh, net id and the remaining these two are host id okay for the class b the subnet mask would be 255.255.0.0 okay similarly for class c it would be 255.255.255.0 okay so what is classful addressing in classful addressing uh, the address spaces allotted suppose i uh, suppose i own an organization and i have only 30 employees 30 employees so I need 30 hosts that is 30 IP addresses okay but I would get a whole class of address only suppose I want to use class C address here the number of host bit is 8 bits okay so here we would be having 2 to the power 8 hosts okay so number of usable IP is 2 to the power 8 minus 2 so this is a usable IP. Y is minus two. Oh, first, first address is the network address. Network address, and the last address is the broadcast address. Broadcast, sorry, broadcast address. So we have to uh, leave the first and the last address. So total usable IP addresses to the pi eight minus two. So it would be around uh, 254. It would be around 254. Okay. It would be around 254 addresses, but I need only 30. Okay. But in case of class full, I have to buy all 254 addresses. So there is a waste of IP address. Waste of address. Okay. So class full uh, addressing is, I can say, not flexible. It is not flexible. Okay, second is waste of IP addresses, waste of address. Okay, we can say these things about classful addressing. We cannot increase the number of, we cannot increase number of hosts in class C or we cannot uh, decrease the number of hosts in class B. You have to buy, you have to have the whole set of addresses. Okay, this is known as classful addressing. Okay, so in order to remove this, we have another which is known as classes addressing it is sometimes also known as uh, CIDR okay it is classless interdomain interdomain routing okay in this instead of using classes we use blocks we use block okay now what is a block Block is a uh, continuous allo allotment of IP address. Block is a continuous allotment, continuous IP address, continuous IP addresses. Suppose I need 16 addresses. Suppose I have 16 hosts. Suppose I have 16 hosts. So I would be given a continuous block, continuous addresses, continuous 16 addresses. That is a continuous IP address as a block. And the block size should be of the form 2 to the power n. It should be the power of 2. Power of 2. That is, block size can be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and so on. If I have 30 hosts, so I will opt for the block size of 32. 
it should be always the power of 2 and third is the first address of the block first address of block should have all host bit 1 all host bit as 0 sorry as 0 you should remember these things okay in classless we use blocks we don't use classes don't use classes okay what we use we use blocks and we have continuous uh, IP addresses in blocks and they are of 2 to the power n uh, block size it is a block size block size should be of 2 to the power n okay power of 2 and the first address of the block should have all bits 0 let's see an example of this uh, suppose uh, I have an IP address say uh, 100 uh, I'll, I'll write it over here only okay 100.1.2.32 I, I have been assigned an IT address from 100.1.2.32 2.33 34 up to 100.1.2.47 okay I have to tell whether this is a valid block or not valid block or not okay let me check first is the IP should be continuous okay it is continuous we have 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 up to 49 the first condition is okay first condition is okay now the second condition the block size should be of power of 2 okay how many are there from 32 to 47 it should be 16 you should include 47 and 32 so block size is 16 so 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 so 16 is the number of hosts number of hosts means number of IP addresses okay and 4 is the host bit 4 is the host bit okay and the third condition is first address of the block should have all host bits at 0 okay first what is the first address first address is this that is 100 Point one point two point three two is the first address. Let's check if it has all host addresses as zero or not. We can write it as I'll write it as same hundred point one point two. Okay, I'll write thirty two in binary. So it should be one followed by five zeros. One two three four five. So one two three four five six. We have six seven eight eight bits. Okay. So uh, what is the host bit? Host bit is a four bit. So what what would be the block? It is a host bit. What would be the network ID? Network ID would be 32 minus 4. 32 minus 4 is 28. The first 28 would be the network ID and, and the remaining 4 would be the host. So network it is 8, 16, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So this is my network ID or this is, is the host, host ID and this is the first address this is a first address okay in the first address we have host bit as 0 so this condition third condition second condition is also true and third condition is also true okay this is a valid block for uh, CIDR okay is it okay okay suppose any IP in this range any IP from 0 0.1.2 to 32 to uh, to sorry 100.1.2.47 any IP from 100.1.2.32 to 100.1.2.47 any IP can be written as like this can be written like this I, I'll write it over here it is 100.1.2.32 slash number of network bits what are number of network bits 28 okay instead of network ID I'll call it as block ID I'll call it as block ID because block ID okay block ID or network ID is the same so it, any any address in this range can be written as like this suppose I uh, I have I, I'll take address between this range suppose I will take uh, 100.1.2.35 35 is in this range it would be here 100.1.2.35 okay slash 28 okay if I have this IP address I can generate the whole block can generate whole block how whole block I can generate the whole block let's check how let's check how okay we have 28 that means we have 28 network bits network ID or block ID and 4 host ID 
okay so i'll write it first 28 bit as it is we cannot change the network id i told you network id is given by the isp we cannot change but any changes can be done in the host id so i'll fix the network id first 8 bits 16 bits and 8 16 and 24 bits and for 28 uh, i have to write 35 i have to write 35 so what is the binary form of 35 binary form of 35 is uh, it would be 0 0 1 um, 0 0 0 1 1 okay it is 35 it is 32 and it is 35 okay it is a binary form of 35 first 28 bit it is 8 16 24 25 26 27 28 i'll take it as it is okay and and i'll make i'll take the five, for the first address the host id should be all zero 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 and the for last address the host id should, should be all one okay so what would be the uh, our address our first address is okay see it is zero zero one zero okay it would be zero zero one zero 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 one and so on up to zero zero one zero one 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 so this is our first address is hundred point one point two point this is what this is thirty two okay and our last address is hundred point one point two point this is what see this is um here till here we have it is uh, you can calculate thirty two 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2, 4, 8, and 32. You have a sum it up. It's 32. You have a sum it up. It is 47. Okay. If we have a single address, it's okay. If we have this single address, I had this single address, and this single address, I have generated the whole block. Okay. If I have a whole block, I can see, say what is the uh, sub network mask what is a new mask okay is it clear okay let's uh, let's take another example this is uh, this is this is what all about cidr okay this is cidr classless interdomain routing interdomain routing